Hey guys, Bowflex Barbie here and welcome to today's arms and abs stability ball and dumbbell workout. I got a very special guest with me, Miss Nicole Henfield is in the building. <laughs> She's going to help me go through this workout. She's going to help us get through this workout we today. It. We so got this. Before we start our main workout, we are going to warm up. Um, Nicole, I moved your thing to stop the ball from rolling. You may have to put it back okay. just so it doesn't roll all over the place while we warm up. Got it. We good? Kind of. <laughs> there you go. It should be fine. All right, so we're gonna start with our warm up. We're gonna go into tap and reach. I forgot the name of it. Tap and reach, reach over, over. We're gonna go 20, one, two, ready? Three, mm -hmm. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, good. We're gonna go right into arm swings. Going straight up and down. One, mm -hmm. two, bring it all the way up. Three, good. Four, loosen up those shoulders. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Bring it across. One, go chest openers. Two, alternate that top arm. Three, four, five, good. Six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. Perfect. We're gonna get that heart rate up a little bit with some jumping jacks. You have the option to either go full out or you can step and reach if we need to. We got 20 in three, two, let's get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine and twenty. Good job. All right, Nicole, are you ready to dive in? Let's do it. Let's do it. We are gonna do it. This arms and abs workout is not super intense, but you will get a nice good burn. So we're gonna start seated on the stability ball, right. and we're gonna grab our dumbbells in each hand, and we are starting with bicep curls on our ball. So what you want to do is bring them just to the front. Yeah. This here, we're curling up nice and controlled and all the way down. The great thing about the stability ball is it forces us to sit nice and tall and engage the core. So you want to be mindful as you curl to keep the core nice and engaged. All right, we've got 10 reps in three, two, let's go. One, good, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, two more, nine, and ten. Perfect. All right, we're gonna drop those dumbbells to the front. We're gonna go into a stability ball plank next. So on our ball, we're gonna come up on the knees. We're gonna come onto the forearms, onto the ball, mm -hmm. and then up into our plank right here. So the feet should be just about shoulder width. Nice strong core. We're gonna hold it for 20 seconds. Ready? Back and butt in one flat line. Going up in three, two, let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Strong four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Definitely more challenging than it looks. Yeah, really <laughs> Good job. We're going to go right back to the top. We've got two more rounds. Okay. Heading into those curls. So grabbing our dumbbells. Nice and controlled. Curling up in three, two, let's go. One. Good. Two. Three. Good. Four. Five. Six. Seven, three more, eight, nine, last one, and 10, good job. Ooh, setting up for our plank. If staying up. Yeah, what if you start to slip? I was gonna say, if, if you need to modify this hair, we can stay on the knees. Ah, okay. And we, but we still wanna do, we wanna make sure we're not here, okay. we're not pushing the hips back and not sinking in either. Right. So we're still, still maintaining that nice flat back. 
Um, if you are going to opt to go on the knees, you may want to roll the mat a little bit so you have a little more support, okay. yeah, because these ones are a little thin. I'm going to try to stick with you, though. You got it. I know that ain't for you. That's, that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's for people who need it, you know, not you. All right, so we're going to go up for our 20-second hold. Another tip here is if, if you find that your balance is a bit off, take your feet a little bit wider. Okay. A little bit wider than shoulder width usually helps you to be a little more stable. All right. Going up in three, two, and hold it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Whew. We got one it more looks, set. It looks easier than it really is. It does. After, like, after 10 seconds, I start shaking. Yeah. <laughs> All right, last set of our curls. Getting ready to work. In three, two, let's go. One, two, good. Three, nice and controlled. Four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and ten. Perfect. Ooh. Setting up for our last plank on our ball. Remember here, we can opt to go high plank or we can modify and stay on the knees if we need to. We are going up in three, two, and let's go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and the one. Good dog. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's usually the time. The time slows down when you're doing planks. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so our next circuit, next superset, we are sticking with our dumbbells first. We are starting with an Arnold press. So for the Arnold press, we wanna make sure the feet are just about shoulder width. Starting in reverse grip. As we press, we turn the palms out. As we come back to the start, palms come back in. All right, we've got 10 reps here. You got it, ready in three, two, let's go. One, again here, sitting nice and tall, engaging the core. Two, three, good, four, five, six, good, seven, eight, two more, nine, and ten, perfect. All right, so on our ball next, I'm gonna turn side so we can, they can see from the side. We have got crunches. So what we're gonna do is roll just enough to where our shoulder blades are on the ball. We're gonna extend back, crunch up. So we don't have to come all the way forward. What we wanna do is focus on really just that contraction after we extend. Okay. So we extend back over the ball, bend back over, come up just enough to where we crunch and feel those that, that abdomen contract, and then all the way back out to that extension, all right? Okay. We've got 10 reps in three, two, and let's go. One, two, three, okay. you get four, your one of the ways, <laughs> four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, good. Okay, both legs, I have abs, yeah? You see them? I see them. <laughs> they come in it. <laughs> what I like about this for abs too, I find like th that type of movement, it takes the pressure off the, back. the low back, yeah. Like it actually, that, that, that extension actually feels like really good on my yeah, back. So if you're someone that has that common low back issue, that that's, a, a good one. that's a really good You know, I thought the ball so lightweight would be take the ball, so today I'm learning that. Exactly. Oh no, they are, they're, they're meant to hold like seriously, oh, so yeah. yeah. All right, ready? We got 10 reps of our Arnold presses in three, two, let's go. 
One, two, three, four, five. Good, six, seven, three more. Eight, nine, last one, and 10, good job. Going back to our crunches. Getting ready to start in three, two, let's go, extend back and crunch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good job. Ooh, we got one more set. Getting ready. Third set, now you start to see that. At the end of the game, you're like, this is a piece of cake. Yeah. <laughs> All right, getting ready for our Arnold presses. Last run in three, two, let's go. One, good, nice and controlled. Two, three, sitting nice and tall. Four, good, five, six, seven, we got three more, I'll push. Eight, nine, last one. And 10, good job. Is it better to go, you know, sometimes you can go fast, but you still, I mean, like with an exercise like that, what is your pace? I always say slow and controlled. Okay. Yeah, like you don't want to rush. I find when you, the faster you go, the more you compromise the form. Okay. And there's also the time under tension. Mm -hmm. That's what people subscribe to, that's why they go a lot slower as well, so the muscles get exhausted without having to do a whole lot more, yeah. I always go for control though. All right, getting ready for our last set of crunches in three, two, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good job. Ooh, that felt good. Yes. <laughs> it burned, but it felt good. Good yeah. burn. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so next we are gonna go, we have got stability ball chest press. So we're actually gonna stay where we were. Okay. In that same position. It's gonna be a little bit easier to see. So we're gonna roll out mm -hmm. to where our hips are off the ball, just our shoulder blades and our neck can rest as well. Okay. And we're pushing the hips up, squeezing the glutes pushing the dumbbells towards each other, and then coming right back down, elbows just about in line with your shoulders, and then pushing up again. All right, so those hips are up, squeezing them, and then we got our chest press going for 10 reps. All right, ready? Working in three, two, and let's go. Down and up, one, good. Two, three, Keep those hips up. Four. Good, nice and controlled. Five. Six, strong core here as well. Seven. Good. Eight. Two more. Nine. And 10. Good job. Ooh, rolling it back up. Oh, now that one takes concentration. Yeah. yeah. Keep the hips up. I think my glutes, my butt actually hurts more <laughs> than my upper body in that. <laughs> Trying to keep them up. All right, so our next movement here, we've got a single dumbbell tricep extension. So we're gonna take that dumbbell behind the head, keeping those elbows, those biceps close to the ears. Elbows bent, dumbbell stays behind the head. Here again, we wanna stay nice and upright. Engage the core. We got 10 reps, all right? Ready, let's go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job. Ooh, I felt that. <laughs> All right, second. I got a little bit of weight compared to you. You still feel it. 
you keep in mind you work in the press, you're working your triceps too. Right. So they, they may be a little tired. <laughs> <laughs> I felt that too. Don't worry. Don't, don't worry. All right, ready? Going into our chest press, rolling out. Remember those glutes are nice and high. We are squeezing them, getting ready to press in three, two, let's go. One, two. Good, nice and controlled. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good job. Rolling it back up and setting up for that tricep extension. Ready? We are working in three, two, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, good job. <laughs> I thought you was gonna say last one. <laughs> this is it here. Yeah, this is the magic number. <laughs> Get ready for our last round. Setting up for that chest press. Remember those glutes are nice and high, squeezing them. Getting ready to press in three, two, let's go. One, two, three, good, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job. Setting up for our last set of tricep extension. Working in three, two, and let's go. One, two, three. Four, good, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten, Ooh. good job. Good work. We are going to bring it down to the floor next. We've got two movements here on the floor. We have got a sit up to twist. So we're gonna start with our ball. I don't think I'm gonna hit you, it should be fine. We're gonna start with a ball on our hands, going overhead, up, and twist, twist, okay? We got 10 of those. I'm gonna move my dumbbells out of the way. And I'm gonna slide up a little bit too. So we're going back, up, and twist, twist. Yeah, we got 10 reps in three, two, let's go. Back, up, twist. One, good. We're gonna try to keep those arms straight. Two. Good, three. Four. Five, good. Six. Seven. Good, eight, two more, nine, and 10, perfect. All right, next we're gonna go into leg lifts. So for our leg lifts, we are bringing the ball just between our shins on the inside. We are squeezing it, sliding the hands slightly under the hips, and we're gonna go down and up, down and up. Notice I'm lifting my Shoulders and neck off the ground. If that is uncomfortable, you can, you can, you can lay flat. Okay. Mm -hmm. We've got 10 reps. Start downward or upward position? Starting up. Okay. Ready, and let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Bring it all the way down, of course. Six, let it tap. I know it's sliding, I'm sorry. <laughs> Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job. Yeah, I got it better now. I didn't have a good grip on it. I got it now. <laughs> you got it. All right. All right. 
heading into round two. My core is awake. <laughs> we are working in three. We got our set up to twist. Two, and let's go. Going back, up, big twist. One, good. Big twist. Two. And three. Good. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Good. Eight. Two more. Nine. Last one. Back up. Big twist. And ten. Good. All right. Setting up for those leg lifts. Get ready. Working in three, two, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job. Woo. All right now. <laughs> My inner thighs woke up with that one too. <laughs> All right, we got our last round coming up. Getting ready for that sit up to twist. In three, two, let's go. Back up and big twist. One. And big twist. Two. Good. Three. Four. Five. Good. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Good. And ten. Nice. Woo. Last set of our leg lifts. These leg lifts are no joke. I know. <laughs> no, no, no. That second set was a little rough, but we got it. Last one. Working in three, two, and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine and ten. Good job. Woo! <laughs> Good job. We are going to stand it up and cool it down a little bit. Yeah, we're, actually <laughs> we're actually going to start on the ball. Okay. So we're going to sit. And we are going to stretch the obliques a little bit. So just reaching over and alternating. Kind of like we did for our warm up, right. but just sitting, getting a little stretch in the core. Good. Two more. Two and one. Good. We're going to lean forward, pushing the knees out with our elbows. Getting a little glute stretch, hip flexor stretch. Those leg lifts will line up. <laughs> Good. And bringing it up, we're gonna do it one of my favorites. We're gonna go onto the ball and just roll back. Stretch out that low back a little bit. So just kind of rolling back and forward. <laughs> What feels good here, or you can just, or you can just hold it. <laughs> Whatever feels good. It's a good decompression on that low back. And just try your best to relax. Nice deep breaths, bringing that heart rate down. Good. And when we're ready, we'll sit it up. 
And let's bring it to a stand. We're actually gonna use our ball here as well to just get a little more stretching in, reaching up. And over to the right. Good, sweep it down. And back around, all the way up, over to the right, hold it. And take it to the left, hold it. Nice deep breath, bring it down. And all the way around, and back to the left. Okay, coming back to center. You're gonna take a nice big inhale. And as we exhale, bringing the ball down to the ground. Good, inhale, bring it up. And reach. Exhale, bring it down. And let's get one more. Inhale, bring it up. And exhale, bring it down. And good job. Oh, I, loved it. I loved it. <laughs> Good job. Thank you, Nicole, for no joining problem. me. No problem. <laughs> and thank, fun. thank you for joining us at home. I hope they had fun like you, too. I, I, hope, they, I'm sure they I hope they sweating like you, too. <laughs> I, I even sweat a little bit. <laughs> thank you for joining us. If you liked this workout, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Drop a comment below. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss weekly workouts right here on the channel. Until next time, stay sweating, stay strong, and I will see you on the next workout. Bye. <laughs>